at this point, you have a classification three model ready. The next steps would be to make a prediction and evaluate your predictions. Let's learn now how to create a prediction in R. Most machine learning packages in R have a predict function, where the first argument is the trained model, and the second argument is the test dataset. The R part package has an extra argument, the type argument, which controls whether the function returns predicted labels or the raw predicted values. In classification problems, the model generates a raw predicted value for each class. In most cases, you can think of these predicted values as the probability that the example belongs to each class. When type equals class, the function will return a predicted class label. And when type equals prob, a matrix of raw predicted values is returned instead, with one column for each class. In this chapter, we'll look only at predicted class labels and evaluate the performance of the model based on classification error on a test set. There are many ways of evaluating classification performance. Accuracy, confusion matrix, log loss, and area under the rock curve, or AUC, are some of the most popular metrics for binary classification problems. For now, we'll discuss accuracy, and introduce the confusion matrix. Accuracy measures how often the classifier predicts the class correctly. It is defined as a ratio between the number of correct predictions and the total number rows in the data. Even though it is easy to calculate, it makes no distinction between classes. Correct answers for both classes are treated equally, and sometimes this is not enough. Rather than looking at the overall accuracy, you might want to look at how many examples were incorrectly classified in each class. For example, when a doctor makes a medical diagnosis that a patient has a cancer when he doesn't, this has very different consequences than making the call that a patient doesn't have a cancer when in fact he does. A confusion matrix or a confusion table shows a more detailed breakdown of correct and incorrect classifications for each class. The columns of a confusion matrix correspond to the true labels, and the rows represent the predictions. In a binary classification problem, the confusion matrix will be a two by two table. The main diagonal contains the counts of correctly classified examples. A good model will contain most of the examples in the main diagonal. In this diagram, those are the white rectangles. And we have a small number of examples, ideally zero, in the off diagonal, represented by red rectangles. In the two-class case, a single prediction has four different possible outcomes. The true positives and the true negatives are correct classifications. A false positive is when the outcome is incorrectly predicted as positive when it's actually negative. A false negative is when the outcome is incorrectly predicted as negative when it's actually positive. Although these examples have used a two by two confusion matrix, the same concept can be extended to any number of classes so you can have a three by three confusion matrix for a three class model, a four by four confusion matrix for a four class model, and so on. Let's create a confusion matrix in R using the restaurant data set. To create a confusion matrix in R, we use the confusion matrix function from the caret package. The arguments you need to specify are the data and the reference. The data argument is a vector of predicted class labels on a test set, and the reference is a vector of the true class labels. Now that you learned some techniques for evaluating classification models, it's your turn to practice.